Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about dead strings. Um, how dead can strings get? Well, we're going to find out, okay? Hold tight. All right, so I want to begin by thanking Danny G. Danny G sent me a Nike hat, uh, just like how I like them. You know, kind of fitted in the back, uh, nice and light, and a little more structured here uh, for my flat head. Uh, thank you, Danny G. If you want to send me stuff, uh, look on my About page. If you want to support the channel, there's some information on there too. All right, thank you in advance. All right, so today's topic is dead strings. I know a bunch of you guys uh, test out your strings kind of like this, All right? You ping it is what people call it. So, All right? So did you hear that? It goes. So what did that tell you? This was a thud. This was a slight ping. Right, so which one's tighter? Well, technically, the higher the pitch of the strings, the tighter the strings. So in this case, this one is tighter, right? So let me show you a freshly strung racket, uh, literally just taken off the machine and how it sounds. So we just took this racket off the machine. Um, it's Gamma TNT, so it's a synthetic gut. Listen to this one. All right, so it's pinging louder. Uh, this one was done a while ago. Right, thud, 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 ping, 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 right? I'm gonna take one that we did three weeks ago, uh, polyester. Uh, this is 15 light uh, RPM blast, 15 light. So it's been sitting on the, the wall for three weeks. That's not horrible, but listen to the one fresh. Right, so fresh uh, is gonna ping louder, okay? So, but today's topic is actually about dead strings. Uh, what exactly is a dead string? Well, you know those pair of pajamas that you love and have had for 10 years that don't really stay on you. Uh, they keep falling off and you keep pulling it up, right? The elasticity or the elastic of your those pajama pants are pretty much done. There's no more elasticity left in those pants. Well, the same thing happens to tennis strings. Uh, that's what you call dead strings. They've pretty much held as much tension for as long as it can, and there is no more tension to be had. Uh, it's pretty much just dead at this point. Kind of like your pajamas that you're still wearing right there. So I'm taking this um, arrow that's been hanging around here for a while now. Um, hasn't been played with for probably a year or more. Uh, it's cracked, so that's why it's hanging out. Uh, but you hear that? That means doing, 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 right? That means straight up trampoline, right? Strings are dead. You can move them like e real easily, right? Let me show you um, what it sounds like when I cut. Wow, see, look at that. It didn't really move, right? I'm gonna cut across now. Right, it didn't really move because the elasticity of the string bed is shot. So, um, string is done. Right, it's not really doing anything for you anymore except just being string. Now, I'm gonna take a fresher one here. This this burn that was strung with a Black Widow, seventeen about a month ago and kind of do the same thing let's see what it this still has some tension this still has some tension but it's been about a month okay see look 
Look at how far that went, right? So there's still tension being held here. Right, so tension was still being held after one month. These strings are definitely not dead. So there's still elasticity in here. Now I'm gonna take the freshest of them, which is this Babolat 15L, uh, done three weeks ago. Not played with though, that burn was played with. Not too bad, not as, it didn't, uh, it didn't separate as much as that burn, but this is also 15 light. So, so this is getting dead, even though it hasn't been played with. So it's losing tension in here. Uh, plus it's thicker, so it has less to bounce back to. So those three were polys, right? This is a synthetic, okay? This is Gamma Professional Rough professional spin, excuse me, and it only comes in a 16 gauge. This was strung about two months ago um, and has been played with. All right, so let's see how this holds up. See, the synthetic has more elasticity, therefore it holds tension longer. Well, the main had more tension, the crosses. For some reason, oh, these cross, it's holding it in a little tighter, therefore it doesn't move as much. But there's definitely more tension in the synthetics. I got another synthetic here. Now this one, Sensation, and it's been here for a while. Let's check the date. Ooh, it's been in here since 18, 2018. So it's been two years, um, November 1st. Let's see how the synthetic lasts in here. Ooh, look at that. One snap. Yep. Did you hear that high pitch snap? That means that the string was holding tension still. Um, still two years later. So synthetics are definitely holding tension better than polys. So what did I prove today? Well, polyesters actually go dead faster, right? And they go dead pretty dramatically. Like as you saw with this racket, um, it basically had zero tension left. It's been in here for a year, um, just sitting on that on my, my wall, uh, probably been played with for maybe three months. So about a year and three months, right? This is really done really well done. So that should not be played with. Uh, for those of you who've had a polyester string in your racket for over a year, um, I would probably suggest you restringing it uh, because it's probably at this phase right now, uh, the dead phase. Um, if you've had your the strings in your racket for somewhere between three and four months, um, they're still a little bit of tension left in there, and it'll probably be like this, uh, giving you a little bit of power, uh, definitely some good spin, but um, going dead though, um, going to be dead, probably in that fifth to six months, is probably gonna start winding up like that first one there. Um, so a fresh one, a fresh one, even though it didn't move that much, this is the 15 though, this is the 15 gauge string so it's probably not going to move as much because it's so thick but um, you could still see that it's still tension here even though i cut that out there's still tension because it's so thick and it's holding tension on the ends now so but that was the polyester strings that was the polyester strings the synthetics as you saw with this test um, are definitely holding up really well I mean, this one's I've had for six months in the store, three to six months in the store, and it was played with for about a month. Uh, and that definitely still had tension. Uh, again, that's Gamma Professional Spin. Uh, it only comes in a 16 gauge. This is Wilson Sensation, strung two years ago uh, at 54 pounds, and this still had tension. So that's what I'm telling you. If you have a, a synthetic in your racket, um, it's probably going to take a lot longer to go dead. Uh, 
you have more of a risk of breaking the string because it doesn't last as long and you don't get the benefits of a poly, but it definitely holds tension and probably takes a longer, longer, way longer while to go dead. But if you have a polyester string in your racket, um, definitely change it uh, in six, six months, I would say, would be a fair uh, amount of time. Now, if you're blending these two, a polyester with a synthetic, um, that polyester is gonna go way dead uh, before the synthetic will. So take that into account and change your strings, um, you know, six months, like in that six month period, or else there'll be a lot of tension going to one side of your racket and possibly warping your racket a little bit. Um, if you've ever noticed um, cracks in your racket, I'm gonna show you like cracks underneath here, right? A lot of people have shown me that lately that are cracks underneath this throat area. Um, a, lot, a lot of that can be contributed to um, the uneven tensions. So let's say like what most people do, they put the polyester on the main and the synthetic on the cross, right? And you go two pounds tighter on that cross, um, you're putting a lot of stress going this way, right? Therefore cracking these or starting those hairlines down here. Um, if you don't change them fast enough. Uh, if you keep it in there for three to six months and um, or longer, right? You're putting a ton of stress on this side, pushing it together here. Uh, we saw that with, you know, the Fed racket, which is a little shorter now because the guts, the gut is holding tension, right? Whereas the poly isn't. So therefore it's about, a you know, almost a quarter of an inch shorter, uh, okay? So, do you have dead strings? Um, hey, I just taught you, if it's polyester, change it out within six months. Don't wait a year, because it'll be dead as a doorknob, okay? Uh, if you have a polyester hybrid with a synthetic, uh, that six month period would also, you know, be, a, be the time to change for you. Uh, if you have a gut and poly hybrid, that six month mark would be a good time also. If you have a full bed of synthetic though, um, you're probably good for six months to a year, uh, maybe even longer as I tested with some of these, uh, depending on how much you play. All right, so uh, are, your, are your strings as dead as your paired pajama pants? Well, test it out, all right? So six months, guys, six months. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.